coasting along a 5-2 and you know all we had to do was play smart and our discipline hockey down the stretch and all of a sudden the thing just changed so quickly. Our Northeastern came on very, very hard, had some power play situations that they took advantage of and you know it's 5-4 with a minute, well over a minute left in the game so we had to make some good stops and I thought uh, Brian Gibbons made an outstanding play late, late in the, the game to kind of keep us alive for tomorrow night. And Kevin Hayes, a freshman sensation tonight. Can you give some words about him? Oh, he's got a world of skill, and he's just going to get better and better. He's, uh, his understanding of the game is uh, what I call hockey IQ is right off the charts. So we're very, very proud of his development. And can you talk about John Muse's performance tonight? Outstanding in the third. Yeah, he's just got better and better. He's had a remarkable four-year career, but right now he's in the top, top of his game. How does it feel to have to come back here tomorrow? How's the confidence level? Oh, that's what we wanted to do. That was our objective, and it's, but it's difficult to win. Uh, we all understand that in sports, and uh, so we're going to you know, enjoy what happened tonight and, and then tomorrow uh, really focus on whoever wins this game. Let's talk about the third period action. You had some serious pressure. Can you talk about that? Yeah, um, you know, going into the third, we knew they were going to come at us real hard. Uh, you know, whenever whenever you're trying to take a team's sticks away, it's it's you know going to be really hard, and especially Northeastern the way they play. Uh, you know, they they play hard until the uh, final buzzer, and they definitely did tonight. And can you talk about the confidence going into tomorrow's game with whoever it may be? Uh, I think we've had confidence, you know, all year. Uh, we have a great group of guys, um, you know, not only on the ice but off the ice as well. Um, and, it, and it brings out the best in us uh, when we're together, um, especially knowing we only have a limited number of games left with each other. And can you talk about throughout the game, what do you think you guys were doing pretty well? Uh, we were skating tonight. Um, when we skate, you know, we're really good. Uh, when, we, when we get into trouble, it's, it's usually because we're not skating um, and taking penalties, uh, things like that. Um, you know, I thought our forwards did a great job of skating, uh, you know, back pressure all night on uh, back checks and things like that. Here with Tommy Cross, you picked up a couple points tonight. Talk about your play. It was a great game. Uh, you know, it was an up and down game for a while, and uh, we got some power play goals. My power play unit was moving it around great. And, uh, you know, our wingers on the power play did a great job getting the puck back to the point and just kind of getting it down to the net. And can you talk about the third period? There was certainly a lot of pressure on you guys, all of you. Yeah, it was, uh, came right down to the wire there, and Moosey holds strong, and uh, our six on five unit was good, and our, our penalty kill had to be good too. And uh, we practiced that stuff all the time, so we knew we could count on it. And, uh, you know, we knew it wasn't going to be easy, and it certainly wasn't, and uh, we, we held on in the end. And compared to your play with Northeastern and the Bean Pot in those two games in that same week, how'd you feel different this game, perhaps? Uh, you know, there was, uh, I think in both cases, there was a trophy on the line, the Bean Pot, and then tonight. And uh, tonight was a little different because, uh, you know, they were playing for their season, and, uh, you know, no team wants their season to end, and, and they certainly didn't. And, uh, you know, that's they played real hard, and we knew it was going to be tough to answer that.